Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Unapologetic. This is yours truly, your favorite host, Melly Mel, aka Mr. Unapologetic. I'm here with another king, ladies and gentlemen, and he's just phenomenal on the on the brush tip, man. The art that you the art that you see behind me, excuse me, is his own creation. And so we're gonna ask the CEO of Jay Harris arts and artistry you know what he what has he came up with you know because this is a fine fine pieces of these are fine pieces in here and we're going to find out you know what made him an artist what made him put kick to the side of the of the field playing field as they say in artistry so please welcome mr jeremy harris how you doing, sir? Very well. Very All well. right. Thank you for letting me come here, man. Yes. Um, okay. So, bottom line, man. The the painting speaks for itself. It, the colors, you know, they're bright. The images, they're oh, yeah. they're very abstract. Like yes. like your in your business name, yeah, abstract art. So, what what started you on this journey of being an artist? Well, I've kind of always loved art. Yeah. I've, I've pretty much done art in school. Never had any formal training, but it's been like a natural thing. So mm. okay, I've, okay. I've painted, I've drawn, I've done all kind of things with art. You know, growing up, so right. it just came natural to me. Oh <laughs> man! Uh -huh. I mean, this is a skill that I I don't have. <laughs> I don't have. I don't have. I don't have and <laughs> another artist that I have interviewed, Miss Taviana, uh, oh, at Extraordinary Arts. Shout out to her. Okay. Uh, she uh, gave like the exact, almost not the same answer, but yeah. it's like it's a feeling. Oh yeah. You know, it, it's something that you feel, and then Definitely. you let your body project whatever it, it it's going through at that time. That's it. Is that what it <laughs> art is? You know, in in the sense of everything. Pretty much, it's, it seems to be different for each person. But right. For me, it's it's kind of that same thing. Oh man. I just flow from <laughs> what I feel. Sometimes I have an idea, right. and by the time that it's on the canvas, it's something completely different. So wow. you never know. <laughs> when did it become serious for you? Oh, let's see. Uh, about 2017. Mm, okay. Yeah. 20. And I, I actually made it a business in 2020. Okay. But in 2017, I lost some of my eyesight okay. and became legally blind. So I couldn't work anymore. Okay. <laughs> and at that point, I said, well, I got to do something. So right, right. I just started doing what come naturally to me, my gifts and all that. And here we are today. Oh, man. You, <laughs> what a I, business. <laughs> I feel like you didn't lose your sight, man. It just became oh, more keen. Oh, man. This is beautiful, Thank man. Thank really. man. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay, so take me down memory lane. What uh, what was the very first painting you can remember? Oh, man. <laughs> that, you know, spoke to, spoke to you the most? That had more? One that I did or yeah, one I've one, seen? One that you have done. Oh man, I I did a painting, oh, I can't even remember what year it was. My first oil painting, and I almost brought it out too for this interview. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, uh, it had to be 2007, something like that. Okay. And I had painted, I had just moved into a new place and didn't see anything in the stores that I liked that matched my decor or whatever. So right, I, right. I just bought some oils and went to painting. 
And that painting still to this day, people comp compliment that picture. Really? <laughs> yeah, on my page. Wow. They really like it. And I I still got it was for my, my home, so Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that was the very first one I did like on a big canvas. So mm. Okay. So yeah. what have have you had any like uh, uh, opportunities to paint? special like special uh, special order paintings or something like that oh yeah With certain clients <laughs> oh definitely okay i get a lot of commission work so and you know that's like those are guaranteed sales so right, right. <laughs> so i like those but yeah pretty much people come and they see what I've done and then they say well can you do that in these colors or can you give me something with these colors and and then I do something like that. Oh okay so what style do you, do you say that you would have as an artist? What, what type? What is your you know? It's basically abstract bright colors. I love, <laughs> I love bright colors. Okay. Yeah I, I've tried to do some earth tone stuff and it just doesn't come up like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, earth tone. What is what is that? Those are like the browns and the olive greens and okay, and tan, all all those kind of dark tones. Um, but no. Nope. But you show expression in your art. That's what <laughs> the brightness comes from, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm I'm learning. Uh, I'm learning the art yeah. art language okay. as I go along. <laughs> and I'm, I'm drawn in to bright colors anyway. So right. I always have been. Even the way I dress, every all all my life been bright. Oh, colors, okay. So. <laughs> okay. How far are you trying to take uh, this this business, your, 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 your platform? Oh man, I'm, my goal is to become international. Really? Yeah, that's what I want. I, if my paintings can sell internationally, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> at that that's point. wow. Yeah, that'll be cool, man. That'll be awesome. Oh yeah. For, for it's coming you know, to oh yeah, I feel it. I feel it because I. I I might go to Russia and you know have a <laughs> have an interview, and I'm speaking that in existence. I'm, I'm growing too, y'all. Yeah. And this might be on a in a mansion one day hey, or something yeah. like that. I hope you so. know, <laughs> and, 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 like that's the I like I like how you think. You know, you, yeah. not just your your art is bold, but your thought process is too. You're oh, very thank you, man. <laughs> I, I like it. I love it. Appreciate it. Um, all right. So one other question I have to ask. Does the missus have like certain paintings that she wants you to do? You know, I need you to make this painting for this, you know, for this room here. I want this colors and stuff oh, like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, they're all over the house. I got, I got them in almost every room. My my own work as well as other art. Right. But uh, somebody wanted the one that's in my living room now, and she said, "No way." Really? She said, no. Tell them that's not for sale. Wow. Yeah, so. But so she firm on this is mine and this yeah. is not this is only mine. Yeah. <laughs> Even some of the ones that I have commissioned, she's like, Right. That's staying right. <laughs> no, no, this is already for someone. <laughs> wow. And that just sure goes to show like the the, mm -hmm. the love that people have for for your art, for your images and stuff in the community. Oh, man. Because I, I've seen your one of your paintings with somebody else that I met. Okay. And that's what I got that. I'm saying, right. oh, who, who did this? Like, well, you got this from a story that was like, no, nah. you know, and I saw it, you know, you, you yeah. know, you got to put your signature on your painting. That's right. So that's right. I was like, oh, I got to find Mr. Harris. I didn't know if you were Mr. or Mrs. at the time. Okay. So I, I got to find Mr. or Mrs. Harris. Yeah. So finally, it was when I, when I, when I finally got honed in on who, who you were, I was like, oh yeah, man, the, the paintings and the art, Mm -hmm. let, let me show you. May I? <laughs> yes. May I? Look, look at this. This is beautiful, man. It's. Oh, I have this in my office. <laughs> this would be an artist piece. Artist uh, yeah. office piece. Excuse me. Thank you, man. And uh, have you thought about like teaching? I, I haven't thought. Well, actually, I did mention that uh, with another artist here in town, and we were talking about yeah. and that's something he wanted to do, and I'm like. Oh yeah, I would I would definitely do that. But even though I'm still learning myself, <laughs> I'm really humbled by the response that I get from from people when they see my art. Right. Because I'm just doing what I do, and I'm learning along the way. Right, right, so right. So it's 
it's humbling and at the same time it's it boosts you up too. <laughs> it boosts your confidence yeah. a little more because I'm like, oh, and people actually want to buy this stuff. So I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, keep keep coming back. That's yeah. like, keep coming back. Like my favorite one is the one right here on my left, y'all. <laughs> This red, it, it, it's it's almost like looking in a north. To me, it's like looking into a portal. Oh man, you know, you're, you're, you you're looking into another dimension in a way, yeah. another thought. You got the artist eye. I, I, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm told. I've been trying. I'm putting me into the painting as I go along. Yeah. So that's as 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 I go along with you know looking at art and talking to artists like yourself. Yeah. You know, I I'm starting to get you know, the concept of what art really is. That the self expression. Yes. So it's okay. That one is called Way of Escape. So oh, you head got, on. <laughs> you got head it. on. I'm gonna try to get this for two. I don't think Mike misses going, to get it, but I'm gonna try, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, final question, mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy. What What is the uh, message that you want you know the people to take from your art from the from every piece? Mm -hmm. You know what's what? What is that? I think my art is. It, I want it to be up, uplifting. Most of my art is like when you see bright colors. You, I got one painting, and a lady said, "How can you not be happy looking at this?" <laughs> <laughs> and I, that kind of blew me away. But I, it was just this big flowers, and I'm like, "Oh, oh well, that's." You get it. That's the feeling I want people to have. I want them to feel good looking right. at a thing of beauty. And hopefully it's beautiful to them. So, you know how they say right. it's in the eye of the beholder. So yeah, yeah, exactly. I was in the, I did a show in the mall, in the Lakes Mall, and a lady was walking past my display. And she just kept staring as she was walking by, but her face was back at the paintings. And, right. And she said, I'm drawn to this art," she said. Uh, "I don't even like abstract art, but I'm drawn <laughs> to this art." And I'm like, "Really? Wow, <laughs> that was odd. That, she was honest. That was awesome. That was yeah. awesome. So that's that what I like. Stuff, that kind of stuff makes it worth it, you know." Oh man, <laughs> yeah, that would that would have been like really? Wow, yeah. Like, yeah, your face is not disconnected from the painting. Like, right. That's awesome. <laughs> Right. Man, thank you for allowing us to come in and Definitely. you know. Just they gaze upon this, this beautiful paintings, man. This is this is nice. This Bro. is really nice. I love to come down here and I fall asleep just <laughs> probably watching just art. Like, you got a TV down there? Nope, just paintings. Wow, that's just straight paintings. Wow, man, <laughs> for really, really. And I thank you. Um, oh man. For what are you? What you're doing for the community? You know, you're giving. Yeah. You showing those who can all. I have been only being able to see one way mm -hmm. that there's multiple ways oh, to show yeah. oh, see yeah. it, you know in different colors and ways of life yeah and i thank you for that oh thank and, you uh, and <laughs> really and ladies and gentlemen thank you all for tuning in on another episode of unapologetic the number one podcast and don't forget to like share and subscribe at the end of the video we love the comments as well please leave yes. a comment and please let me know on, on on the different vest colors i'm trying to switch it up for y'all this is the art that i'm doing right all now. right so look let good. me yeah i'm trying to look good too he, he got me into it i'm trying to look good too but thank you all again man for this opportunity to sit with y'all and enjoy this time with, with another king and like i said before don't forget to like share and subscribe and please leave a comment on the number one podcast on Unapologetic. Thank you.